Ragnar Blackmane, the young king, wolf lord of the Blackmanes. Today, we're going to show you guys our take on this iconic Warhammer 40,000 special character. Anvil of War! Conversion Corner! And we're back for another episode of Conversion Corner. Today, we're talking about the iconic Ragnar Blackmane. Uh, love this model. Um, not a big fan of the uh, metal classic model, so um, we decided to do our own rendition. Uh, thank you again to Zach from Brushfire uh, Studios for painting up this beautiful model. Uh, this conversion started with a Chrom, <laughs> Chrom Dragon Gaze uh, model, which was just kind of chopped up, and it's just a simple kit bash. Took the head from a uh, blood claw set took the top knot from another head uh, decided to put it on there I wanted him to have the sort of sideburns a little bit a little bit more uh, hair around the side and the back of his head than some of the other heads and then took the top knot from another uh, blood claw head and threw it on top to give him that classic top knot because it can't be Ragnar Blackmane without a top knot I'm gonna go ahead and say that um, the pistol is also from the Krom Dragon Gaze set, um, and then the chainsword, which is representing Frostfang, is from the Space Wolf uh, Space Space Wolf Upgrade Sprue, uh, which is just for generic Space Marines or for the Primaris Space Marines. It can be kind of interchangeable. The backpack is also from that kit, um, and it just properly represents the backpack that was on the classic model. Um, and then, yeah, the, the pose is very dynamic for the Chrom Dragon Gaze, so uh, we decided to keep that and go with it and uh, translate this special character and kind of update it because I just got to say that that old metal model is just not up to snuff. It doesn't, uh, doesn't match up with the quality of uh, Games Workshop's products that are be putting out now, being put out recently. Um, and yeah, it's just uh, it's just stuck in the past. So uh, it's one of those characters that's always going to be included in the Space Wolf Codex, but uh, may not get a new model for some time. So why not go ahead and make your own? We've also got his two wolves uh, to the left and right of him, uh, Svengir and Ulfgir. Um, probably said that wrong, but um, these are just generic um, Fenrisian wolves that we, we took and just painted up and they can accompany him on the battlefield. We hope you guys enjoyed this conversion. If you enjoyed our content, consider subscribing to the screen by clicking on the icon. Or if you want to check out more of our content, there's some videos here for you. Thanks guys. It was very dramatic, Adam. It was a little too dramatic. I think you need to be less dramatic. That was way too dramatic. Yeah.